scooped at by Kiersey. He'll control. Kiersey tied for first in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League for rookie defenseman points. Give it away. Here's Gay stepping in. Fires. Scores. Gay is going to fire it about knee high to the glove side. That one between the glove and that left pad as Flanagan goes down. And it looked like he got a steam on it to get by him. It's 1-0 in favor of Valdor. I'll turn over. 16-year-old rookie Marcus Kiersey trying to go through the middle. That doesn't work in this league. And back in, it's going to be Gee. And he lets Third it go. Back inside the Ver uh, Valdor line. Now again, Provo. Board side off the left wing and in. Plays on side. There's a shot. There's the shot and they score. This one is going to be Provo. He fires it from a, a bad angle uh, off the wall, and it's going to get through goaltender Jack Flanagan. And uh, the four York have a 2 nothing lead on their third shot on goal. Might even be their second. It hit the, it hit the Valdor player in front. That's Mattis Goulet. And now they'll do a little button hooking down low. Morno off the half wing. And shorthanded, here comes a chance to set. He's third in the league and scoring to the goaltender. Down, saves. No, scores. Far down, this one with Flanagan down and Doucette looking like he might have been denied on that glove side. And it's 3 nothing. a shorthanded goal. The Isles gave up one last night and another one here tonight. Well, what a move by Alex Doucette. And that's number six, shorthanded goals on the air as he's just in behind and Flanagan goes down, spreads it out. And he just tips that one up. It's a pro goal right there. Said again, okay. mid-blue line. As uh, McCollum doesn't shoot, snap shot from 35 feet by Robodaz off target. You hear the coach yelling to shoot. There's a shot in front and they score. Provo with a second. This one between the two red rings and it is now 4-0 in favor of the 4 your with 3.32 left here in this uh, been a great night here. As the Isles have given up a shorthanded goal, now a power play goal. Provo with uh, two goals in the game and his 10th and 11th. Nice little setup pass in front. Robin for Provo posted in. Is there value for in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League and no more value than for the Charlottetown Islanders. He has been uh, just outstanding. And stepping in, there's Turgeon with a shot. This one, Flanagan gets a piece of it. It bleeds wide. Another power play for Valdor. They'll walk it off in front. Tight angle shot and they come across on an uh, edge of the Goal pass, net wide pass, and it goes blocking the glove side. The second unit doing it now. Yep. And five Jim, nothing. Jim, it's a mercy pull here. Frankie's coming in. Five nothing. He just, you know, I think he, he can't wait any longer. And I mean, that one there, two power play goals, not much chance on that. That's, I mean, yeah. Nothing you can do about it. Disappointed he'd be, there's no doubt about it. That last goal is a net wide feed. From blocking the glove side, and he just he had no chance on it. And it is 5 0. The game is 10th and 11th. Regrouping now deep inside their own territory. Legacy with an onside pass and in. Turgeon steps into the goal. Poke check. Big time stop by Frankie LaPena. Again, sneak like is that stick to strip off the Valdor player who's going to try to deke him on the play. And a timely save. Here to try to. Not give uh, Valdor anything else and see whether his team can come back and chip away, as I said, one before they can get two. But off the post by Jake Brabinich as the Isles were almost on the board there. Drifted back through center ice. Here's Biaka Batuka. Side pinching in as Brabinich plays it near corner. Romeo tries to get to it. Puck is still loose and alive off in front. Turning on it, there's a shot. Puck is there and backhand shot by Giovanna Morno. As we've got Rolo looking for it, he came out off that stick side. Well, finally they get the puck to settle down for them a little bit, and Gio scored on the power play last night. As the Islanders in the back end of that five-minute major only had a post to show for, and it's a loose puck, and Morneau just swats at it, beats Rolo low to the glove side, and the Islanders something for the, I'd say 2,600 plus here tonight to cheer about with a buck 20 remaining on that major. Morneau. His sixth goal of the season by Romeo. Off a stick, again regrouping. Is Ouellette for Valdor. Through center ice, that one broken up. Right back in again, trying to drop it off. Here's going to be Romeo. Ice opens up, there's a shot. Scores! Bianca Matuka, third man coming. 45 feet goes low stick side. 
on Rolo. By Lucas Romeo. He turns, creates the turnover as he wallpapers Mattis Roulette, then jumps into the play and an empty drop pass for Biaka Matuka. He can rip it, and he rips that one low blocker side. Morno in front, and it's open, tight made by the goaltenders down, Rulo, as we had a scoring scramble. Into the left wing corner, spun around, Charlottetown will not keep it in as it goes to the neutral zone, quickly the other way, again another two on one, here's going to be Doucette stepping in, tight made by Frankie Lapetta. again another big time stop, going one on one, with the third leading point getter, Doucette breaks down, and Robidoff has an option, and he takes the shot, telescoping out on that glove side, is going to be goaltender, Frankie LaPena. Oh, LaPena, big save right there. And then the rebound, Bianca Batuka nearly off his skates and in as the Islanders try. Right. They'll stop it along the wall. Terja has possession, sends it cross dice. Looking to step off in front, they score! This one is going to be a cross crease pass. Woods is there. And he's going to beat goaltender Frankie LaPena low to the glove side. That one right at the lip of the goal crease. Yeah, hit something in front, celebrating like he had the goal. Pass thrown in front, yeah, right off Bianca Batuka's stick. And through the five hole of Frankie LaPena. So Drapeau with his second of the game. A couple of multi uh, goal scores in the game. Provo and Drapeau for Valdor. They're up six to two. You see it here, right? Perfect tip through the five hole. Stretch pass through center ice for Romeo. Here comes Jelly trying to shake off a check. Rolls it into the blue puck. Is still alive. They score. Romeo! Boss might get a point there. His ninth three point game, scoring rookie in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League with his ninth of the campaign. Well, you go to the net. Good play by Jonah Jelly. Good, strong play. And Lucas Romeo steps right in, top of the circle. He's got a three.